Here we have a 1963 Pengor Penguin. It's an amphibious ATV. This particular specimen was built in Ottawa, Ontario. In 1964, the factory moved to Carlton Place, Ontario. It is a two-seater amphibious ATV. It is made to go into the water. The rear tires are all that push it in the water. The front wheels just act like rudders in the water. The controls are, let's see on the dash here, we have the red generator light, the neutral indicator light, the ignition switch, and then we have a passenger handle on the steering yoke, which swings side to side. We have two handles, of course, one for either hand, and in the center we have the throttle, which you can operate with the thumb of either hand. In between the seats, we have the gear shift with the blue handle on it, the clutch lever just below it, and the choke control. In the, on the floor, we have the round button is a footrest, and the pedal is a brake pedal. This machine is powered by a Villiers, we can get it to focus here, a Villiers two-stroke single cylinder, essentially a motorcycle engine, but with fan cooling and electric start and four-speed transmission. The unusual thing about this vehicle is that the electric start is reversible. The engine actually runs one direction for forward. You have four speeds forward. Then you shut the key off, push the key and ignition switch in, turn it to the right again, and you have the engine running in the opposite direction and have four speeds reverse. The engine displaces 197 cc's and is rated at nine and three quarter horsepower. It uses a Villiers slide carburetor with a cable operated choke. It has a cable operated clutch and the engine has a four speed transmission attached to it. The single chain coming out on the left goes to the counter shaft or jack shaft, which on the right has the brake drum and the chain on the right hand side goes ahead to the axle that drives the rear wheels. This particular machine is unrestored. It is in original condition. And for a 50 some year old machine, it's in pretty good shape. These were available in different colors. The A and B models, as they were referred to, had white tops and had either blue like this one, we can, here we go, it's blue on the bottom, or red or green on the bottom. And the D model, which was a industrial version, which had thicker fiberglass in the body and a slightly lower gear ratio, it was yellow top and bottom. And the seats, of course, were also yellow, as was the battery cover. This machine is pretty bare bones. It has never received lights. There are no headlights, which would be on the front deck there beside the bow, bow handle. It has no horn, which would normally be located in the inner front fender right there. There's also no tail light just above the left handle. There's no pitch mount, which would have been just below the center of the white area underneath the engine cover. And uh, there were other accessories available for these. Uh, besides the hitch mount, of course, there was a trailer hitch. There was an amphibious trailer. There was a cargo rack that went just over the engine cover. The seat cushions were an option. I think most machines came with them, though. There was also a tonneau cover that went over the seat area. A windshield that would have sat on the front deck here and skis that the front tires simply sat in. 
again this machine is unrestored it's got a few little chips and scrapes on it there's a little rust on the gas cap the latch for the engine cover is not there the chrome around the passenger area has shrunk a little bit pulled away but all in all it's in very good shape that is a 1963 Pengor Penguin A model.